He said here that this letter is from Simon Peter, a slave and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Why did he say it in that form? A slave. Because hmm? when we think about slave or slavery, we automatically think about, okay, ain't no Caucasian, but I'm, I'm going to say this. And it's not going to fit them, but I just don't like people to feel uncomfortable. Right. Have them A lot of times when we think about slavery, we go back thinking about the slave back in, uh, back in the day. Uh -huh. You know, back when they was in slavery and when they came from Africa and how they, we think about the movie rules. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Horrible. Yes, but that's the same way that the enemy tries to entrap us. Yes. Just like that. He said, I was a slave. Let me tell you what slave means real quick. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, God. When he said he was a slave of Jesus Christ, it's so crazy that slave means a person who is the property of and wholeheartedly submit to. Oh, I say yield. Because when you see the word submit, especially in the New Testament, you got Old Testament Greek, I mean uh, Hebrew, New Testament uh, Greek. Hebrew is Old Testament, New Testament is Greek. When you look it up in this, in this, in this, in this, in this verse, because it's New Testament, he's talking about yielding and submit. Amen. Okay? The definition says that a person that submits wholeheartedly or yield to another. Then the second definition says a person entirely under the domination of some influence or person. A lot of times, and according to the scripture, and I'm a, and let me read this. Let me finish reading the scripture, cause we gonna find out that we you, we we yield and submit our members or ourselves to everything else and everything else, self for God. Why is that? Then we come running back like an ostrich with our head in the sand when we realize Jimbo wasn't the husband that we supposed to have. Jimbo, okay. I'm right on Jimbo and him. <laughs> when we come back, then we went to the job that really jacked up our hours and we can't really okay. make the things that we need to do. Amen. Even spending time. Your first mm. ministry is your kids. Tell I told God, I said, I would not be like other PKs when I can't minister to my own kids at home and watch a movie. Yep. I got to be so spiritual. Yep. Come on, let's be down to earth. No, don't get me wrong. They'll take the wisdom. They'll know that. You know, because your kids grow up in church, they know when God's talking through their pain. Right? Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yeah. I got a daughter that could prophesy when she was her age. Amen. And still can, but she's scared now. Because she forgot who she was. Amen. Amen. But when you when you when you can't submit to God, you're submitting to another source. It says here, let me read this. It says, in writing <coughs> to you who share the same, everybody say precious. Precious. Precious faith. We have, this faith was given to you because of the justice and fairness of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. May God give you more grace and peace. Everybody say, God give you more grace. God give you more grace. And peace. And peace. And then he said, grow in, the, grow in your knowledge of God and in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, this is where it comes into play. He says, by his divine power, by his divine power. So, according to Acts 1 and 9, he said, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, you should be able to do what? Receive power. I come to find out, Apostle, a lot of saints don't realize they got the power. CNC Music Factory told all of us that was 30 and older, you got the power. You don't know it. It was already, and it's crazy because what God does in the heavenly, he bursts it down in here in the earth.
earthly realm. So every salt, remember what the Bible said, every good and perfect gift comes from earth. So people that music ministry, oh, that's that that's God's heart right there. You can woo, you can boy, you got some prophetic minstrels and psalmists in the house. Think about it. According to 1 Chronicles, I think the 29th chapter, when uh, Solomon did the uh, temple worship, no, David did the temple worship, he made over 5,000 instruments by what? His hands. Yes. Bad boy. Yes. We can't make one church fan. All right. <laughs> What's up with that? Mm. What's up with that? Mm. We can't create not a church fan, not a church cake. Mm. Why we can't make our own communion crackers? Come on, somebody. We ain't got go to go get, go to the store and get some always say chips. All right. There's enough mothers in the church in order to make it without putting yeast in it. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Just don't call Pastor D. <laughs> 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 I'm just playing. My mama was a baker, so I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> it might be nasty this first communion, but the next one is going to be Woo, boy. Woo. <laughs> is that, what is that? Is that a ritz or what? <laughs> but the thing of it is, creative power. He said here, I love, I love God's word. I do this all day for me, but I ain't gonna be right He said, given unto us every he said, by his divine power, he's given us everything we need for living a godly life. Mm. What? Jesus. Come on, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna repeat right. that again and I'm gonna say it again. Mm -hmm. God, through his divine power, he said, according to his word, yes. according to 2 Peter, mm -hmm. the first chapter, mm -hmm. the third verse, he mm -hmm. said, according to his divine power, yes. he will give us everything we need to live a godly life. Mm -hmm. He talking about in the earth, he ain't talking about in heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't yeah. need that power hey, in hey, heaven. Hey. He said he's going to give us everything we need. Mm. So when trials and circumstances come up, mm. and you know you're doing everything you can do to live before God, mm -hmm. only thing you can say, God, you said. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. There's power in this yeah. word. Okay? Yeah. Hallelujah. You said you were going to give me everything I need yeah. to live God. Hallelujah. And this stuff is getting on my nerves, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to do this thing according to your word and yeah. will. When you take that authority, you take that dominion, because he's giving you dominion. He's making, we can rule over everything in the earth, except each other. That's right. So all the witchcraft working pastors and leaders that are trying to control the saints of God and him, God going to get them. You pray for them. You pray for them. Yes. The Bible said, pray for those who despitefully use you. Yes. You pray for them and keep it moving. That's why I tell them all the time, no, I'm just keeping it moving. Hey, hey, I'm keeping it moving. No disrespect. Because we got a job to do. We don't know when we out of here. We don't know. We can close our eyes. This baby thought she was out of here. Amen. Thank you. God gave her a second chance. Oh, she gonna be running down the yeah. road. Yeah. 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 But she'll be doing it for the glorification the of God. God. Yes. And not in Tiffany. Yes. Oh, people of God, Hallelujah. get this. He said he's given us everything we need by his divine power. He said he wasn't gonna leave us conquerors. So what you got a crackhead sister, a brother, an uncle, a cousin, mother, daddy? So what? All right. But if you believe in God, speak a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this really worked, God. My loved one will not be smoking crack come this time six months. Mm. I had a niece that was so tied up in lesbianism, it used to make me throw up when I sing. Thank you, Lord. I just wanted to take, give her two chops to the throat and knock her out. All right, all right. Because she knew, I mean, she's one of the ones that went to church faithfully. Knew the word of God and tell you where it was at. And you're going to get caught up in this because she stopped communion with the Father. Oh, thank Amen. you. Thank you, Jesus. And this is what I said. God said, quit treating her with discord, but treat her with love. Yes. And see, that's what the body of Christ got to get back to. The love of God is the central yes. thing that draws everything. Yes. This whole relationship of the word of God, of course, our relationship with our love. So he said, love her a lot. 
Mm. I walked over here and he said, you prophet ain't just it. Yes, sir, I am. I said, I know who I am. Hey. Hallelujah. He said, speak a word in her life. I said, we was over in the Lord's when she lived on Lydia. I said, this time, next year, you ain't gonna be doing that. You ain't gonna be right. great, drinking them, taking them hormone pills to get a beard. I'm All not right. cutting your hair no more like no dude, because you ain't no dude. Amen. You are a woman of God. All right. Yes. You know what? Guess what, boo boo? This is dismissed. She said, oh Lord, drop the joint and walk away. Amen. But came next year. All right. Her hair was long again. She was Amen. 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 Glory. Uh-huh, put down your loved ones, live like uncircumcised Philistines. The devil is alive. Yes, we know of a David that killed him. Yeah, he did it. Oh, oh, God's spot. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you people, God. Hallelujah. He said here, he said, we have received all of this by coming to know who? Him. The one who called us to himself. By the means of his marvelous glory and his excellency. And because of his glory, this is when our benefits start kicking in. Yeah, that's what you say, is that 4 1 okay? Yeah, shout up, oh shit. <laughs> Baby, I've been talking about, I'm just at the Metro for retirement. This is the best retirement plan I ever had right. in my life. Amen. Amen. He said, and because of his glory and excellence, he is giving us. Great, everybody say precious again. Great, precious. 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 Let me let y'all know what precious means. Mm -hmm. Since I told the women that they were so precious. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't bring my glasses, y'all. I didn't see it now. That's what I'm faking, because I'm like, my eyes are still young. In God. Now right. I'm declaring I can hear and see. Now Amen. I can see a mile away, but up close, like, what was that? But precious. Oh, there it is. Precious promises. Man, when I'm out at this point. Precious. This is what it says. That you are of value. A high price. He said that you are very valuable. And Jesus paid a costly price for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Why he ain't gonna come and see about Sarah? All right. She's valuable yes, to me. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. She didn't sacrifice a lot. Yes, she Amen. Why not? Yes. She's very valuable to me. Yes. She's precious. Yes. Amen. She's a jewel in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. She's a monarch. For the women of God that like myself come behind her. She didn't win trail. Yes. She was the John the Baptist in the ministry. Yes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In this day and time. We know about the Amy, uh, 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 Amy uh, McPherson and uh, Mother Edda and all of them. And they was the patriarchs before her. But in our day and time, she is the Mother Edda. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Abundant life is very valuable to God because the church represents a heart. Because yes. we produce. Yes. Come on. We're supposed to produce fruit. Yes. He said, why not? He said, she's valuable. And when the enemy come in like the flood, God said, I'll be right there to get back up. Yes. Thank you, Sometimes I get to slipping and dipping and tripping and talking crazy. Yeah, my sister said, oh, oh, wait. All right. I don't let you talk like that. I'm supposed to talk like that. I'm but you can't talk like that. Right, How do you right. serve? Check me like that. Amen. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost, for her. You better have people in your life that will check you when right. you're talking crazy Amen. because of stuff you see. Amen. I don't care what I see. I'm going by what I know. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I'm changing. Y'all ain't got no money. Got to make a way. Yeah, Don't you yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. 
When I say he made a way, he showed them, showed out. Amen. 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 He'll give you houses and land. Yeah. But you won't have a little persecution. Yeah. Yeah. You won't have people talking about you. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants this ministry to come forth. Tell it. Oh, oh, may I say, oh, right. from the end door to the back door, Tell they it. don't want this ministry to come forth. Right I said, no, it's coming forth. Yes. 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 Thank you, I want to see the people just say, yes. see, pastors, we need to get back from preaching about tithes and offerings and really get back to seeing people get saved. Thank you, I said, God, I'll work down there at the metro till Jesus to come back here. As long as we have enough money in the church to be able to help people with their needs. Amen. I'm tired of church folks going to the church and not being able to get help. The devil is a liar. Yes. If they can't get food stamps, okay, no trip. If you ain't on no drugs, we're going to see what's going on, yeah. but we're going to feed you. Tell Amen. 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 No, we can't be called great ministries. Come on, somebody. That's right. They feed people every day. Oh, yes. These people may not want to change. It's like, you. this is what you do. You make it available. Because everything yeah. we do in life is a choice. Yes. Come on, that's good. good. Thank you, Lord. We come to God because it's our choice that we, he yeah. wants us to come. Yeah. But it's our choice that we go to him. Yeah. And then when we go to him, then there's some benefits that come Amen. 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 Come on, God. Amen. I ain't flow with no notes. I'm just Lord. trying to do definitions and keep it moving. Amen. Amen. He says here, he got a precious promise for you. These are the promises that enable. When I thought about it, I thought about the cell phone, because I was like, I had a word. I first got my cell phone, you know, the digital stuff. Mm -hmm. What does the word enable mean? You know I mean, you know, I'm a sister from the hood. Look at all. She went to Southeast, used to play around. Got enough good grades, so mama would show up. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I said, what does enable mean? That means that you can be able to move, be activated. Right. The restraints is taken off. Amen. Amen. He says in that uh, these promises enable you to share the divine nature. Everybody say, I have, I have divine nature, divine nature of God. Of God. And when you have this divine nature, it says, and it will cause you to escape the world's corruption mm. caused by what? Human desire. Your flesh, baby. Yeah. Don't let your flesh rule you. Because remember. The Bible said that what you have rule over you, that's what come, becomes your Lord. Right. That's right. Yes, right. What you some, let me go back to my definition. Right. <laughs> what you yield your body to, All right. that's what becomes your Lord. So you yes. yield your body to sex. Mm. Yes. Come on. That's true. That's true. Amen. That's if you true. yield, y'all got to pray for me on this one. Right. Eat ice cream. All right. All right. Late in the midnight hour, <laughs> and ain't praying. That's who your Lord is. I'm just, I, you know what? I'm just keeping it one hundred. That's what I'm saying. If you yield to always cussing people out and not taking up the godly, nobody. You yielding to the the Lord of your flesh. Don't be moved by your emotions when God has given you power to overcome good. I mean, overcome evil with good. Sometimes when people start talking negative, I just sit there and just, because, you know, I'm a talker, but normally, I'm, now I'm just like, oh. Okay, God, what you want me to say? Don't say no, please. Amen. All right, well, holler at y'all like <laughs> Because the thing of it is you don't want to become a part of what you let your spirit man, what you hear, yes. faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible says it's not what goes out of uh, in a man that defiles, but what comes out. Think about it. Back in the day when everybody, how many of us, uh, I, I'm looking around the room, how many of us remember old school music? And uh, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to y'all, y'all, y'all area, because I'm a big fan of Motown. Yes. <laughs> so I hear that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
And I'm writing a book on that, The Chronicle of a True Prophetic Ministry. All right, all right, yeah. amen. Because music is the only thing that can operate your whole mind without permission. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It can get in your spirit. Think about it. Right. Okay, ladies, here we go. All right. We go to Walmart. We go in there for toilet paper. We come out with six bags. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Next time, listen. Yeah, without no fine tuning ears, they got soft music. Yes, they do. Yes, you walk right. in there, you like that. Hey. Oh, girl, did you see that? This is two ninety eight. My dog's at two ninety eight. Oh, ninety eight. You just throw it in there. I get that. You come out be like. Lord have mercy. There was no sale. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> but our lustly desires will kill us. Yes, it will take us to the grave because the thing of it is, the Bible says, according to Galatians, the fifth chapter, he tells us, it tells us to walk by what? The spirit and not according to the deeds of our flesh. Because if we walk in the flesh, guess what? Woo uh, uh -oh. You be down in LAJ. Amen. Amen. Ely's. Mm -hmm. Speaks. Mm -hmm. Whatever your folks get to take you at, they're going to leave you to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And I knew if I didn't change, oh, D was dying. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I didn't supposed to make past 18. Amen. I was going with boyfriends and drug dealers. I supposed to be sitting in the back seat with my boyfriend when he got shot. Mm -hmm. He got shot in the side and they shot him in the car where I used to sit at. Mm -hmm. I had a gun put mm -hmm. to my head because I wouldn't have sex with a guy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your flesh. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for this. Hey, mm -hmm. Louis, stay in the house now. Don't you got it. I'm keeping this baby. Don't you need a, I'm going to, next thing you know, I'm in the ER. Mm -hmm. Wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. This boy that pulled a gun in my head and I passed mm -hmm. out. Just had a cousin that was murdered. Mm -hmm. Messing with some guy that was in the prison. Mm -hmm. And he was very jealous hearted. He thought she was cheating, but she wasn't cheating. Mm -hmm. He killed her and my little cousin. Mm -hmm. And just because my little cousin was there and knew that she could identify him, he killed her too in Holy mm -hmm. Temple back in 92. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was calling the day before to ask, could I move down? Mm -hmm. Look how God said mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He will give you an escape when he know you yes, got yes. purpose on yes, your yes, life. Yes, yes, yes. But you got to want it. Even when I was out there doing the things that I was doing, I didn't want to be like this. Because my mama didn't raise us to be like that. Oh, Catherine Knight didn't play. Everybody knew Miss Cat didn't play. Well, y'all we going over there. Catherine, man, she come outside, boy. She been whooped all of us with her pink house coat on. <laughs> my mom would ask, ask my sister, she'd come to your party and be like, what you doing here? <laughs> with her pink house coat with a strap hanging. <laughs> Real quick, I'm going to tell y'all, it's all at this party, group. I got clean to snuck out the base because we had one of them old school houses. They had four stories to it. Mama on the second story. Mm -hmm. I'm in the basement. You know, that's where we did the laundry. So I got my clothes ready, put them downstairs in the laundry room. Put my bike on the side door. Mm -hmm. Tipped on out the door, shut the door. I said, that's it. All the party be over in about an hour. I'm going around the cloud. Mm -hmm. I'm around there just kicking. <laughs> I told you when I walk in, the party got started. So all of a sudden, everybody in front of me is like, and then one of my girlfriends said, Ooh, this ain't gonna be pretty. Ooh, ooh. I said, What's wrong, dog? She said, Your mom's fine. I said, Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
in the view of all this, every effort to respond to God's promise, check this out, he says, supplement your faith with a generous provision. That fifth verse, I want to read that in the Message Bible. If that's okay with y'all, I'm almost done. It says, so don't lose a minute in building on what you have been complimenting your basic faith with good character. He said, don't lose building what you have been given. God had already given you some stuff when you when you said yes to the Lord. He had already accessed some, some different package deals for you. You know how like when you go on a cruise, you know, you got the A package when you just got a room and a bed, okay? Yeah. Then the B package, you got a, window, a bed, you got a window to see the ocean view. But then the C package, you got a balcony when you come out and look at the water. Now, God give us, giving you some package deals. He's giving you some stuff. I told God, I said, God, I don't want to be here after the rapture. I'm gonna go on the first. Uh, I ain't never oh, yeah. uh, flown uh, 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 on the first class. first class, so let me get experience it on this one. Yeah. I'll wait till he comes to that one. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. He says here. He said to complement your basic faith with good character, spiritual. Un he said he's gonna give you spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding. He says that he alerts. Discipline and passionate patience. Ooh, that's some good stuff right there. Because you know, black folks, we don't like to wait for nothing. We want it right. I want my right now. We can't wait till later. You know how you be wanting for some chicken or something? You know, and you be like, oh, shit. God, come on now. I really got a taste for some. <laughs> Some chicken, you know what I'm saying? Gold chicken, go. I just don't want churches right now. I, I, I really want some good chicken. No, oh, no, I really just, I, I really, I just really need that outfit for something because they said it's gonna be nice. You know, I could drop the top down and Lord have oh, mercy. Oh my God, I can see myself, me and you driving in the wind. He said, but no, not right now. I'm using myself. I preach. Yeah. I preach about myself all the time because I'm free. Amen. 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 Who the son yeah. said free is free of me, so I'm a slave of Christ. So I'm, that's the only person that you can be a slave with Amen. and can Amen. be free. Amen. Amen. Okay. He said in his word, according to Galatians, the fifth chapter, the first verse. He said, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. When you, he said, who the son set free is free indeed. That's John 8 and 36. I thought y'all was going to be calling this church, but I am, ain't it? Amen. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But I'm just saying, that's the, only, that's the only person you can be a slave to and have freedom. Mm -hmm. So why we got it twisted and we be enslaved with other stuff? Oh, my God. All right, all right. All right. Come on. Why we be slaves to everybody else and we're bound? Mm -hmm. I'm sick of y'all. Don't keep talking to me like I'm a little kid. I had a sister that passed away with uh, preliminary fibrosis, our older sister. That girl, I love that girl. Ooh, you talking about I love my sisters? I'm going to tell you like this. I love church folk, but I love my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and it took us to lose one. If you never experienced the death of a sibling yes. or a parent, mm -hmm. I lost my sister and my father in a year apart, and I preached both of their funerals the same day and time a year apart. Can you imagine that? I said, God, who in the world am I? Now, I know y'all say I'm tough, but Jesus, I am sensitive for real, and it's hard to bleed. He said, I never put anything on you harder than you can bear. I said, God. You took Curl Jane. Hey, not Curl Jane, God. Mm. I could have said another one you could have took. <laughs> not Curl Jane. Because when you see me or her or her, you knew all the sisters is here. Now we got a fourth one. We all close there. But I'm saying, that girl, she cussed me out one day. And I was a preacher then. 
It's a pretty two game. But you know how your family members is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They bring some she calls me every day and told me to go and lay down in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm a woman of God. You ain't gonna keep doing me like this. What you gonna do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you still gotta have godly character. Yeah. Even when a person's in the sickness and the illness. Because you don't know what. I thank God that I was there to lead her back to the Lord. Amen. Her, my grandmother, my daddy. Ain't that something when you can lead your folks back to the Lord? She called me. She said, I need you to give me a Bible over here. What? <laughs> and everybody know me. I drive pretty fast. I will. I said, you said what? So I walked in there. I got my bread in there. What's up, sis? Because she gave me a key to the house. I said, you know, right. it's, it's, it was a giant print. I said, baby, it's a giant print. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first Bible that I brought when I got it all day. Amen. You can have it. Amen. 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 You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Next thing you know, I got a phone call in the middle of the night. Mm. Ah, guess what? Mm. Woo, girl! Woo! I gave my life back to Christ. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. I said, But it excites you when you can see your loved one. I'm still talking about this godly character, okay? Your loved ones come back to the Lord. Patient, passionate, patient. Reverential wonder. Warm friendliness. Sometimes the church folks are so cold-hearted and don't show love meaner than vipers. Woo. I went and visited my old church uh, about three weeks ago. Since I'm not pat since I'm going through the process of the pastor, you know I've been going visiting, you know, because I ain't had a chance to visit in years. So I go in there. One of the ladies I knew, I want to do God bless you. How are you? How are you? Well, you're mm -hmm. you are oh, my you know. hospitality. Pastor, I told me, I told the bishop, I said, y'all need to kick her off the uh, uh, hospitality too. Yeah, she said, girl, you the only woman coming in and be telling people what to do. I said, no, she's not friendly. Why right. she's hospitality and people? Uh, and she goes, how are you? Mm. I said, the devil is a lie. Y'all need, y'all still do, do the limits here. Y'all need to cast that out. That's an unfriendly danger. Amen. Y'all scared? No. Don't be scared to identify Amen. stuff. Amen. People say they say, and they cussing you out. Come on, baby. Come on, Pastor. We need to do some deliver. Let's talk and see what's going on. Because sometimes they uh, we have to act out of hurt. Right, right. If it's not hurt and pain, it's a demon. Amen. Am I right? Amen. It's a demon spirit. And we need to get that out if you're going to be in this house. Amen. I hate going to the church. And, and you know me, I'm not the type of person that would come up to the front and stand and look for the pulpit because women, they don't want us there anyway. You know? Well, you know, there's a seat. Oh, she's in my seat. Oh, my God. I know the Baptist church. No disrespect to the Baptist church. You wouldn't you know you. It's a mother walker's room. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up Baptist room. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I know they do that, but that ain't literally your seat, Mother Walker. Right, right, right. That be said that you made some good times. That's right. We're going to call you oh, in your memories. Amen. Am I right, sis? No, 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 no. Like I told you, I told you. It made me so mad when I got ready to preach my daddy's funeral. Because my daddy got saved before he died. He gave his life back to the Lord because he thought he was cool. You know what I'm saying? I said, Daddy. Yeah, I said, oh, you say? Yeah, I, I, I said, well, when I was a boy. I said, all the children you had out of wedlock. Right. <laughs> you ain't never repented for right. that? All right. I'm here. Okay. Can you need to repent from that mess. Amen. That. He leads you to the Lord. So when he died, I had my, uh, my a childhood church because we had his funeral at the church. I said, well, you know, women, preachers, we don't let them in our pulpit. I said, y'all, full of the devil still. Tell it. There ain't no but peace of wood. <laughs> and if it burn up, guess what? It's done. Yeah. Really? I said, and then I, and then I went there, I said, all the money mm -hmm. my mama and my grandma mm -hmm. sold in this place, oh, include myself, because right. when I was selling drugs, one thing I knew, to pay my time. Right. Yeah. All right, girl. Amen. I would do some y'all ten grand in the church. I didn't need no envelope. Because <laughs> I always remember what my mama used to say. If you know that count of hairs is on the head of the head, he know who did what. Amen. 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to get that kick back from when Apostle, have you did the taxes yet before yeah, I tie? <laughs> have you did the taxes yet? No, I don't want mine. Amen. They ain't going to help me none anyway. <laughs> when I give to the Lord, it's up to the Lord. I used to do them, and then my old person, I'm looking at like this, daughter. That's the way that God bless you. Okay, that's cool. But now, in the stairs I'm in now, I don't need that. They're going to just hurt me. And Uncle Sam will take more. I don't need them to take more because I still want to be fighting. I want to be their kids, little kids, hear my boy. Yes. Yes. Who fight? Anybody know who fight is? Be on your floor. I'm just saying, that one that take that money out of your tip, that yeah. F-I-C-A, mm -hmm. I want to meet that person. Right. <laughs> it says here, it says here, and having gener generous love, each dimension fitting into and developing others. So the thing of it is, your love and generosity is supposed to develop other people. Amen. I get so tired of hearing this pastor say, sheep we got sheep. Oh, Lord. Would you get your musty tail out there and help do some cheap catching too? Right. Jesus just sent the disciples out there all the time by themselves. He sent them out to let them see that, that the authority that was in them after he breathed them. Amen. Right. Amen. Get out there and dig in the trenches too. Amen. You see your pastor going to saving people and y'all sitting back, oh, she showed her how to do it. <laughs> I'm serious. Or you know like the homie the clown for us that Mr. Watson and Lemon Carter, and the second How you gonna make this? You gonna kill her? So many men and women of God, they work so hard in the vineyard, and we sitting back with our arms folded, which is a state of a form of pride. When you start going into demonology, and with your head stiffed up like this in the air, that's, that's pride. That was one of the spirits, that the very first spirit that was uh, uh, put down in the earth because of Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Because he said hey, he was going to mm -hmm. be up over the most high. And the most mm -hmm. high stone would be his footstool. Ha mm ha, -hmm. <laughs> tricks on you. Yeah, yeah. Jokes on you, Jack. <laughs> we seen what came to the last right. of that. We thought it was going to be on what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and God's footstool yeah. was your throne. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Amen. 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 But it's time for us to quit killing our pastors. I seen my old pastor, he was preaching, and he was just, oh, no. and I said, wow, I used to preach like that. Mm -hmm. I said, man, if I still would have been preaching like that, I would have a lot of, I got gray hair in my head when I'm high, but I would really have a lot of gray, and I would really have to pay a visit to Mrs. Clara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got friends as pastor, mm -hmm. Pastor Roney. Got gray beard. I said, man, you look like Moses, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Let these people get up and help you. Tell it, man. Mm, thank you. Oh, everybody in our church, I'll be like, come on, baby, come on, y'all, let's go. I'm giving you a t-shirt, you a t-shirt. <laughs> Just like mama used to make us work together as a team. Mm -hmm. Ministry is teamwork. Yes, yes. If you send them out two by two, that's a team. Yes, There's more than one. Apostle can't do it all. Apostle can't come and do communion, do praise and worship. I don't know what's going on in the house. She ain't told me. I'm just going by what the Spirit of God leads me. Amen. And I'm looking at y'all because I like looking at people in their eyes and the eyes of the window of your soul. I can see what's going on. Amen. Amen. But I've been in ministry long enough to know as well that comes with wisdom and knowledge. Grass need be cut. She should be out here cutting grass. Amen. Amen. And the same one that y'all know that do it shouldn't be out here cutting grass either. Amen. Thank y'all, Jesus. Am I wrong? You are. Okay. <laughs> but we'll come together for a cookout. Yes. Yeah. 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 We get into the part that you gotta push it out and put it in the toilet. Amen. 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 No, 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 no. God's not pleased when the same folks is doing the same thing and everybody just sitting back chilling. Providence Reese just can't always be the one in the doors of the church. Amen. 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 It should at least be three of y'all in here that she trusts and be able to open up the door on time. Amen. Before the store at nine, you don't need to be walking at the door turning the knob at nine. You need to be at 8.30. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord bless our pastor. Amen. Me and Janelle, 
We be everybody in church. My, our yeah, kids was like, oh, um, why we always gotta be the first one at church? <laughs> you got a good spirit. I just keep looking at you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. She's off the chain. Praise God. I'm coming back to you. Everybody say, she Yeah. Now me and Janelle, we be at the church. And especially praying, prophetic teaching, we born. Open up the door of church. Church started at 8.30. We there at 7.30. Amen. We young folks. He's in our 30s. Am I, am I lying or am I telling the truth? I ain't going to lie to you because I don't want God to burn me in this pulpit. I wouldn't lie to you outside either. Because I don't want y'all to say, they're lying preacher. We got enough of them. Amen. I ain't no reality t preacher either. All right now. This is reality. Yeah. Not knocking them, just pray for them. Amen. Amen. Anyway. <laughs> But back, we would be there opening up the church because we had a genuine love. We would be there not just opening up the church and sitting for the pastor to come. We just grab the mic and start praying and making the atmosphere conducive. We'll put in a praise CD. By the time they get there, they see people all on the floor laying out. I'm speaking in tongues and she's speaking in tongues and we laying hands and demons is coming out. We got buckets. Get you some buckets because this is the year of deliverance. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because I'm looking around and I'm like, ain't no buckets in here. Mm. And I, she's an apostle and she walks in signs and wonders. So don't get mad if y'all come up here and just start throwing up. Because that's a manifestation. Or you start passing gas or burping and stuff. Amen. That's a manifestation. Just go on to the bathroom or come up here and be like, boss, who is starting? Ooh, this is so embarrassing. No, it's not. I want to be free. Amen. I want to be you. I want to be uh, fit for the master's use. Amen. I love doing deliverance. Amen. I had a guy, and they're not talking about the brother back there in size, but he was uh, tall like him. But he wasn't as strong as him, but he was real. You could tell he lift weights and went to the gym. He turned into the Incredible Hulk. Uh, and my pastor was out of town at that particular time. Remember that? I said, wow. I said, I must be a bad chick in the spirit, but this dude be like, no. Because demons try to intimidate you. Yeah, right. I said, really? Mm -hmm. I got up in his face, you know, because I'm short. <laughs> I said, I'm not scared of you, and you don't intimidate me. Mm -hmm. Just because you got hurt at five. Now, the Holy Ghost revealed this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that man who got hurt at five. Mm -hmm. Just because you got hurt at five, because most don't, demons don't. enter in when you are young. Why am I going here, Holy Ghost? Yeah. Come on. Because oh, yeah. right. right. oh, right. that's what should be flowing in the house. Mm -hmm. I said, just because you got hurt at five, and your father made promises to you and never filled them out. Come on. That don't mean that you're going to use them in your adulthood because your name, and I hate to use his name, but I'm, I got to use it to I'll give y'all. His name was Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael is a born angel. Mm -hmm. I speak to Michael. Mm -hmm. And you pride, come on out. Mm -hmm. He grew bigger. I said, okay, Holy Ghost, now you want to do something. This man is study growing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Michael, mm -hmm. you see the power of God that's inside of me? Mm -hmm. Come on out. <laughs> Big old blood mm -hmm. coming out. Jesus. At first he was like, no, mm -hmm. stubborn. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, come on out, stubborn. See, demons, if you start studying it, mm -hmm. they'll start manifesting it. But if you don't know Boy, the different yeah. mannerisms, yeah. mm -hmm. you'll be having compassion and doing this. Right, right. Oh, baby. Right. Like, no, I'm, right. I'm going to stroke the devil. Right. That's controlling. That's right. Because we didn't yield to it somewhere, mm -hmm. either in our childhood, right. through our hurt, our mishaps. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, come on, baby. We're going to be free. Amen. So the deliverance team need to be in here. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's give a hand to the deliverance team. <laughs> Apostle might leave her in the church, but take you and you and you. The, 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 the deliverance team. She up down in Alabama, wherever she may go, and I use Alabama because I know that's where she's from. And they know Apostle Sarah White from Kansas City got a deliverance team that's going to come and cause these demons that's in these people, they're going to get free so they can be able to move in ministry. So she may have to open up a church down there. Yeah. Come on. And I ain't got to worry about home because I trust and have a lot of... Uh, uh, I know she can do the job because I equipped her yes. with the Holy Ghost to do what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I know the people at home are still going to get it. 
like if I was still there. Amen. 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 Come on, think about your natural home, parents. Mm -hmm. There's always one or two kids mm -hmm. that you can trust. And I can leave my girls at home. Amen. And they're 18 and 15, and I'll tell you, they ain't going to open the door if Jesus Christ came to them. Amen. 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 <laughs> Even in their older years. Why? Because they know. If I didn't call you and tell you, or ain't Tootie or ain't Cookie didn't call you, or Janae or somebody, mm -hmm. you know I know that I trust. But you open that door. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mom, the maintenance man, too. <laughs> he ain't got a key, don't let him in. That's right. So that's the thing of it is, God is raising teams. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm getting through, y'all. I'm going to it said, with these qualities active and growing in your life, check this out. This word is saying, Cole, no grass would grow under your feet. I see you, Janae. <laughs> no grass would grow under your feet. And check this out. No day would pass without its rewards as you mature in the spirit of our master Jesus. Without these qualities, you cannot see right. Mm. That's good. Mm. Thank you. Mm. In the NLT, it says, well, who just about the NLT uh, version? It says you'll be blind and uh, oversight. Mm. If you don't keep communion with God, somebody can come by back in the day, you know how we can play ball and you get beeline? Mm -hmm. That's what we get when we have different slips and falls. When we get from not studying the word, communion with God, fasting. Church don't know how to fast no more. We need to right. fast and still incorporate uh, meat products. Right. <laughs> we do the Daniel fast. We're not supposed to eat eggs. We're not supposed to eat cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not supposed to eat salad dressing. Unless you match it, made it with fresh stuff, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, and going without food, period, that's an insult. <laughs> the old saints used to get up there, I mean, they would go weeks. I was talking to a saint, she said, bro, I used to go 41 days. I said, God, no, 40 days. I said, you Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't went on long fast without food, but that ain't never been 40 days. I'm just being real with y'all. I, I ain't claiming to be that. Now, I went, uh... 14 days, 7 days, 3 days. But here lately it seemed like the saints of God have really been under attack to really fast. Yeah, so as the body of Christ, we need to come together as believers. In each every individual house, I remember like back in the day when in our neighborhood, I can go across the street to Jason them house because Jason them mama was real cool with my mama. But my mama trusts her enough that she know that I only be doing stuff over there that I couldn't do at home. Right, right. I know Pookie in them house too, cause Miss Snook ain't gonna let me do some crazy stuff that I think I can do around the corner, because they know my mama, cause they know I'm gonna be doing the same thing like I'll be doing at home. Mm -hmm. In the house of God, just because we had life, abundant life, mm -hmm. if I'm saying right, abundant, uh, abundant, a life, life of abundant. abundant, life abundant. Equipment Saints Ministry, St. John's Missionary Baptist Church, Mount Sinai, it still should be the same rule, the same game plan, the same strategy. Amen? Because the Bible said that we're one body, but many members. So